All right, today we are doing a little uh, evaluation of the Channel 1 Mark III and the Track 1 Mark III. Now, this is the premium version of the Channel 1, has the extra transformer on the input. This is the regular Track 1 that doesn't have the transformer on the input, but definitely amazing sounding unit. And so I was just going to kind of go a little bit through these and show you some of the differences. So on the channel one, you could see that we have gain, tube saturation, uh, de-esser, transient designer, compressor, equalizer. Over here, we just have gain, no tube. We have the de-esser, we have the compressor, we have the equalizer. So we're missing the tube saturation, we're missing the sustain. The other thing that we're missing is this has two inputs that come into it. So you could actually have two phantom power mics with their own separate phantom powers or one dynamic versus a, uh, a phantom power and switch between the inputs. Plus you also have your line input. Over here, we just have the regular line input and mic, mic input. So if you do a lot of A-B switching, this might be a really cool unit to have if you need that transient designer or you want tube saturation in your circuit. Uh, that would be great. So the other thing about this tube saturation is as you add tube saturation into it, unlike most units, it will actually change the volume. This has a volume compensation. So you get to hear the sound and effective tube without the volume changing, which makes your ears more accurate evaluating whether you want to use it or not. So we're going to run a snare drum through this, and I'm going to kind of give you all the flavors of what's going on, and, and then we're going to talk a little bit between the two units. What we have here is our gain. Now I'm going to turn this up so you can hear the difference. You can hear a lot of low-end saturation kind of come into the sound. And again, it's not adding volume, so you could really hear the difference. Now to give you an example, if I put the high pass in, you could still hear that low end saturation come in. DSR is not going to do much on the snare drum. Transient designer. On this particular sound, I'm not getting much on the attack. Compression is really built for a vocalist. It's not built for a snare drum. Like you hear that, and I'm barely touching it, and you could hear the, the beefiness happen. But if you go too far, it starts clamping down because, again, it's really designed for a vocal. Then we have our equalizer. So the equalizer is amazing. You have a mute button. Then you have a tube post EQ or pre EQ. So right now it's pre EQ. You could pop that in and it's post. You could also do the same thing with the EQ and the transient designer. Now, 
if I'm doing, let's say, books on tape or a vocalist or a narration or something like that, this compression, I could get somewhere in this range and get a really decent amount of compression going on without hearing it. Just you, you're able to like tame the peaks and stuff like that and really get a decent amount of compression. The way this works is it's a low ratio, but the more you crank up, the higher the ratio goes. So it really digs in. And that's why it was digging into the snare too much unless you just barely had it set here. So, and, you know, these, a lot of these components are exactly the same on the uh, track one device. It's just, this has a tube saturation, the transient designer added into it, plus the A and B inputs. Showing the gain reduction meter. Also wanted to note that the channel one now replaces the frontliner, which used to be their flagship mic pre. Uh, the channel one now replaces the flagship frontliner. Frontliner is discontinued, and the channel one Mark III is their top of the line preamp now. So as you can see, uh, you know these units are amazing units. In fact, uh, I actually got the track one back. On a misorder and uh, so that's kind of an open box I wanted to try it out myself and I've been using it for like a month and I've been really really loving it and that's why I went and I got the channel one because that's the big daddy of them all and I wanted to have you know one of the best preamps in here so this one I'm actually gonna install the other one uh, I'll throw in uh, a code in the uh, description with a open box for anybody that wants a get a percentage off and grab one of these. Uh, they're amazing units, either one. And uh, if you need the extra bells and whistles, uh, you could go with this one. If you don't need the tube saturation and the transient designer, you could actually get the Track 1 or the Track 1 Premium that has the extra transformer if you need that. Uh, but the regular Track 1 without the extra transformer is sounding amazing and uh, has enough gain by all means uh, to uh, do what you need to do. So Jim from Pure Wave Audio, until next time, have a great day.